Hey guys, it's Anelius and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're going to carry on, of course, as Asterian, and we're basically going to try to basically deal with Ethel, Auntie Ethel. Anyways, let me load the end of the save, save game, and let's take it from there. Sweet. All right, so where are we? We're back in camp. We basically had just done a long rest, if I'm not mistaken. All of us are back at full health. Mm, actually, I haven't done the long rest yet. I'm about to do that. So let's do that now. Okay. But right, before we do that, let's have a quick look. If I got here 1954, that should, of course, take it down to a lower level. 1914 is what it should be afterwards. Just making sure that the actual auto select works properly. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Yes, 1914. Marvelous. All right, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to quickly speak to Will. Well met. I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious, but once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Okay. Let's add a bonus to there. Guidance. Ooh, yes. Do I reroll or not? I will re-roll. And of course I roll a 15. Right, cool. I'm more than a still. If the tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. Alright, so let's travel back. We're leaving camp. We're now going to make our way. Well, actually, we need to speak to Shadowheart. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod back on the North Lloyd. You could have died. Mm -hmm. Spending precious moments trying to free me, but... I owe you my life. I owe you my life. Really? I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become okay. a of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Mm-hmm. Which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect. It's all I ever wanted. But mother, forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. Okay. She said I was not ready. You were not ready, but are you now? Not my mother, mother, I should add. The mother superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she mm -hmm. deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. I mm -hmm. perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. Dark Justicias are hated by many. Okay. They're judged to be ruthless fanatics. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Cool. So we basically went back to camp because once you're down the wooden stairs here, you cannot do that again. You cannot basically go back to camp. So we had to go back out to be able to go and rest. We had to rest, of course, to get all of our spells back up to the top. Mm hmm. When you make a successful attack, you can change that hit into critical hit. Okay, so we went through here already earlier. Yes. Okay, let's jump to there. And now that we're here, the system auto saves, and it does so for a very, very good reason. These are trapped areas. Now we can bypass some of these. Ah, there's traps in there. A vent. Really? Is it that vent that's basically spewing all of this forth? Is that is that it? I get the impression it might be better if I just split Asterion off from the rest for a moment. So that I can deal with all the traps. How do I get anywhere from there? Oh, there's a path that way. Interesting. And then from there, where does that take us? It still takes us to the same place. Let's kick in. How delicious. Okay, so there is a trap there. That is low, but luckily I've got all these extra mods on there with modifiers. Takes up higher. Ouch. Marvelous. Thank you very much. We can talk later. Deal with that trap there. 15 plus all the modifiers again. I know I did lose some health, but it's not a huge amount, luckily. Subtle steps. Oh dear. Someone left another trap. Yes, they did. Okay, modifiers again applied to it. Do I actually get XP for doing this? Oh, noxious fumes do really do damage. You're supposed to be able to walk through the noxious fumes if you're wearing a mask, but like we saw, the mask is not always forgiving, is it? Okay. Ouch. Fingers crossed because that. Ooh, natural 20. That means that I got a critical success, which is great. Thanks. All the fumes are gone from here. Hey, good looking. <laughs> really? Okay, have I got any can trips that can heal? No, I got hmm. four level one spells. Okay, that's four to 11, four to 11. That's level one. Thank you. Thank you. Five points, thanks, really. Thank you. Eight points, better.
just like the old time. What's next? Hold on, where is okay. As long as I avoid that point. Hold on, do I see a, a body there? No, there's nothing there in reality, is there? Bypass this one, which is great. Well, well, well. Nice. Okay, so if I now do the group joining up again, say so this will be tricky. Auntie Ethel is there, if I'm not mistaken. And here we got uh, the young lady that was captured. The ancient abode. That's basically the old place where she resides. It's mine now. Sylvan stone. Okay. Let's make our way in here. That's a safe space where we can actually be for a while. Bone cap. Nice. Work loin. Potion of speed. Okay, so there's a few letters here. Dearest sister, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. Okay. Ethel, I heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client led. Alders Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along the. Uh -huh. In exchange, I have a girl who suits you, peculiar appetite. Her mother mind is failing. My contact has assured her you can help. Ah, okay. Now, this is a quite useful one. Connor is scratched into the surface. Oh, lovely. There's a heavy chest here. Look at all of that. That's lots of rings. But they're only normal rings, isn't it? Okay, let's open this up because that's not the right one, is it? Not the right one either. I've sent all of that to camp. Saves me a bit on the... Uh, caring I need to do. There we go. So we got a couple of rings we can drop into here already. More valuables. Always good to basically put those nicely away. And then of course we got one of these beauties. Sorted by type. Okay, what do we got? Tarnished locket. Here we got the ever seeing eye. What kind of item is it? 
Is it a ring? Dear Comet, when a verb starts at 250 percent hit points, less. They gain momentum. Okay. Ring of color spray. Hmm. Okay. It's uh, interesting. Oh, there's another one here. A malachite. Oops. We got more gold here separately. Loose. No. All right. Let's resort this and make it properly arranged. Okay. There is a wicker basket here. More potions. Let's examine that. What is that? Staff of Crones. It's a quarter staff. Hmm. We might be able to do something with that at some point, but not yet, that's for sure. Ooh, a mushroom circle. If I disrupt that, what will happen? Oh, okay, that was not my intention. Karlak is inspired. Uh, clear area. Hiding in an obscured area. Okay. To some extent, I had kind of hoped that there would be more. But there actually is. If you might remember from the beginning when we were in the actual hut of Auntie Ethel. There is, of course, some extra stuff we can get from there. Okay, so we're all hidden. Uh, now, I want to basically have her here. Okay, quick save. Okay, let's make our way here. We can lower that, if I'm not mistaken, by using control orb. Ah, hold on. I will be able to, of course, cast Circle of Silence there. Nice. Don't burn yourself. The hammer's gonna fall. Is she able to see me? You reckon? Yes, I'm silenced. I oh, know. This feels good. All right. Okay, then. Nice. I did her a decent amount of damage. I'm on the list there, isn't it? Yes. Except for her. Within reach. Okay, I joined the battle. Let's spill some blood. Anything else I can do here? Nope. Okay, she's able to do that. Attack of opportunity. Sneak attack. Nice. She, sorry, is she still silenced? She is still silenced. Good. Not enough movement.
Hold on. Can I not jump up to there? I've done my movement bits. Ah, that's what it is. But that doesn't prevent me from actually doing this. Critical miss. That sucks. The control orb should bring it down. I miss as well. Okay. Got to press on. I'm basically moving the circle of silence to there. Perfect. She uses claws on me, okay. Is she still silenced? I think so. Yes, she is. Okay, so... Can I use... Yes, I can. Look at that. Then, of course, I can basically cast this. And I can do even more damage to her, which is great. Yes, I know I'm silenced, but... Okay, so I'm going to do another quick save here. Just because I've got her down so far already. I don't want to take her all the way down. Panther's Mark, okay. I managed to hit her. Look at that. Now that is meant to be coming down. Or Ah, yes, there we go. I was sure I basically triggered it, but it looks like it actually hadn't started. Okay, let's do another quick save because... Can I shove her away? I can. That didn't make a difference, did it? A miss. Wait. Ah. Wait. Just a check. Cool. Quick save. Me. What? It's hopeless. I knew I liked it. Look, you want to be stronger? Yes. Let me. She's dreaming if she thinks <laughs> it's your choice, sweetness. Do I want to intimidate or do I want to do deception? I think I'm going to do the deception. Because I got a bonus to that, anyways. It's not an easy roll, that's for sure. 16 plus 2. And as long as that's 2, yes. Wow, bless the stars. You greedy little bugs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that looks disgusting. Don't forget this sweetness. You have my word. Thank you. But the deal. What husband? What happens to him? Deals off your dumb cow. And you have him to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Cool. 
so we got the ability mod. <laughs> I'll see you again. <clears throat> bye bye, petal indeed. Right, so do I have to accept it now? Probably. I can do charisma, I can do dexterity. Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Okay. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you. Um What is this? Your child. Longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. I do. The baby too. Auntie Ethel, mm -hmm. give this child a good life. Really? More than I could have done. Mm hmm Okay. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin off. Okay. Really? I hope you're happy. Okay, so my decks at the moment is nineteen. Go, oh, Dex is 20. Auntie Ethel's boom. Eating Ethel's hairy scalp has granted you a permanent boost to dexterity. Interesting that it actually stays listed here. That's quite cool. That is quite cool. Anything else noteworthy to loot here? I don't think so. Take my party outside again. I'm going to let all of this stuff be because that's kind of like, hmm. If you use the mushroom circle, you end up out here. It's kind of like a back door into or out of. Ah, let's quick save here as well. Let's have a look. So we got that new wand, isn't it? Hello. Okay. God, didn't hear you coming. I know it's the thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Okay. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used, really. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. Okay. That's a good question. You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for 
a master. Hmm. Wow. What you doing to him? Oh, this isn't what she promised. I think she did. Hmm. Okay. Connor. Connor. <laughs> He's in there, but he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. You bastard! I thought what? Okay, we completed the quest. Forget it. The milk's already spilled. Yep. <laughs> I still have that wand? I think I do there. Cool. Let's go up the ladder here. Okay, let's go through these possessions here. didn't mean to speak to you, but okay. Let's open up the chest. Okay. else up here. Potion of greater healing. I don't need a reflection to know this. It looks fabulous. Just beat. Okay. Anything else? Barrel. Okay, anything in the crate? There is stuff in there as well. A vase. Anything in the vase? Nope. Vessels, maybe. Oh, lovely. A lot more food items here. All right, let's open this one up. Camp. And this stuff here. I'll send that to camp as well. Okay, 
every little bit helps. Then more stuff to come. I got so many papers on me, but it don't seem to be that interesting, but okay. Send that to camp, another book. Alchemist, Alchemist's Fire. Why is that not with the other ones there? Why is that separate here? Grease bottle, okay. Lots of stuff that we got no direct use for as such, but it's still giving me weight. I don't want all this excess weight. All right, dexterity is a good 20. Nice. So, guys, that's kind of the reward for basically beating Ethel properly, like we did now. Um, what are we going to do? Not a toad teapot, another cup. We're only 300 away from... Uh, the next level, that's not bad. In the area I haven't explored properly yet, I think here we might be able to at least review more of the map. And then see from there what we can potentially do. By the bones, there's a candle there, okay. Okay, a adult frog. Frog's entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in... So she's got to speak to animals, of course. Look what you Come present. Present? Marching. Where are you taking me? We're following as much as we can. Yeah. Ah, shiny, shiny. Okay. A pouch. Ah, nice. What's the story? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Trust no one. Let's move. Let's go through the boxes here. And then from there, we're going to make our way back towards civilized world, I guess. Okay. How did we get there? Interesting. Let's have it. Reinforced greatsword. Okay, Karlek likes something. I'm not sure what she likes, but okay. Ribcage. Ah. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I do hope you uh, you enjoyed this one. Of course, we'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, uh, we're just going to leave it here. Take care.